Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Aditya Gupta. So I just wanted to share an incident with you actually. So just yesterday, day before yesterday is what happened. I had recently uploaded my vlog on, uh, you know, when I got my MD in pediatrics, uh, my pedi MD pediatrics degree. Uh, and uh, someone who stays in the area, uh, recognized from the buildings and everyone that they stay in the same area. Uh, sh uh, and she actually came up to me to ask for strategy. Uh, she, uh, she's a dropper. Uh, obviously, I won't, I won't name her. Uh, but what I realized was that a lot of you right now would be someone who will be finally deciding to take a drop. Like the counseling is over. You might not be getting in the college of your choice. You might not be getting. You earlier had started and now is the time and actually the preparation would have properly started. Uh, you still have good 10 odd months to go. Uh, 5 plus 4, 4. Yeah nine odd months to go and I'm I'm re I'm reasonably sure uh, I'm not asking you to start now now is not late obviously you can still crack it you won't be able to get a you will be able to get a decent college no not no doubt about that but hopefully you guys have already started I believe one year and 11 12 months are more than sufficient to get any college be it even Ames Delhi for that matter because I remember that I cracked it in one year I essentially started for one year uh, I was not really serious in 11 standard so 12 months is sufficient to crack anything nine months is sufficient to crack decent government colleges so if you want to start now this is the time don't waste any further time uh, definitely six months and below may it becomes exceedingly tough to crack the entrance exam you are starting now you just took a decision to drop start now most importantly i'll tell you something most important you, youtube is filled with videos about strategy 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 is useless whatever you want to call it uh, those tips tricks and everything i'll still give you a brief plan you have to plan it yourself uh, but the single most important determinant of whether you will be able to crack this entrance examination or not will always and always stay whether you work hard or not if you're not working hard no matter whatever the strategy you know nobody has cracked the exam because of strategy people crack the exam because they Put in the hard work in the most appropriate manner possible. This most appropriate manner possible is the strategy that we keep on talking about. But if you don't work hard, you are not going to get anything. So please get out of the rut. Please get out of that habit that I want to crack the exam in 2 or 3 months. It doesn't happen, I want to crack exam. Start working hard right now. And yes, God does reward hard work. If you're willing to put in the hard work, definitely you can crack the exam. So what should be a strategy for a dropper who, or uh, for someone who's starting right now? Uh, I would simply say that and this is specifically for a dropper video because I'm uh, assuming you're not going to school at this point of time and hence you will save a ton of time by not going to school for a person who's in school they have to manage school as well as you know the coaching and board examination preparation and so on and so forth uh, together so this is specifically for droppers I'm ma making a video you have uh, September October November December and maybe a portion of January. By this point of time, you should have completed your syllabus. In five months, you should have completed your syllabus. You have just done your 12th standard or, you know, your, if, even if it's your second drop, you have an idea of this thing. So you can do one entire revision in two to third in four months. I'm definitely confident about that. And how do you plan it? Uh, Every individual is uh, uh, different, so I won't give a exact, you know, chapter-wise strategy because that is, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's useless. But I'll give a week-wise strategy that in every week, every seven days, 50% of the syllabus is... 50% of the syllabus is biology, so you should spend 50% of time doing biology, reading NCRT and practicing NCRT-based MCQs and previous year questions. Fair point that you should in four days in every two days you can thoroughly read NCRT. In fact, in one day also you can read one full chapter of NCRT thoroughly. And the second day should be spent doing what? Doing NCRT based previous year questions and the actual previous year question. You should do NCRT based MCQs because this is a mistake a lot of people do that they keep on reading NCRT and NCRT they do not know how to apply that NCRT based knowledge. And for that application of NCRT based knowledge you need to solve a lot of MCQs. And you can use any book, you know, Dr. Ali, uh, uh, NCRT at your fingertips, Arihant, Disha, uh, Masterclass in Biology by Need Prep. You can use any NCRT based book to solve NCRT based MCQs. So first, and on the day one, you thoroughly read the chapter, each and every line. I've actually made a video on how to read NCRT properly. Uh, from each and every line, try to imagine kind of questions that can come. And on day two, practice the hell out of that NCRT. Take any book, take any app, whichever app you find is good. Uh, I have pre previously promoted Memony, that is also a good app. Uh, Darwin is a good app. Uh, 
target batch of need prep is good all these are really good resources whichever you feel suits you you can take any of that resource but do ncrt one day and practice the hell out of ncrt the second day ncrt based mcqs plus previous year questions of past 10 to 15 years for previous year questions i have my own app reflex you can use that reflex is not just previous year question it's also a test series i'll give the link of the test series and towards the uh, very end of the video but what forget about whatever i said think on the strategy resources are multiple the path is similar and the path is ncrt thorough reading ncrt mcq practice and previous year question practice three and a half days you have to do that remaining three and a half days you have to do chemistry and physics again read theory practice equal amount theory equal amount practice if you don't practice till the time you don't practice you won't become perfect i used to spend as much time practicing this is the most important mistake a lot of you will keep on doing you'll keep on reading theory making notes they won't take you anywhere till the time you end up practicing it in physics you did a concept practice the previous year questions see the kind of questions that they are asking practice similar questions again again i'll say for previous year question i have my own app reflex at a very minimal cost of 500 with video and audio solutions you don't want to use that you can use any other book also that is not the compulsion the strategy and the method stays the same theory followed by practice practice the hell out of it practice till the time you actually get to the concept and see how that thing is happening all right that's why solution see which questions you are getting wrong in physics you read a chapter let's say you did the theory of a chapter start practicing first practice previous year question then solve similar question you don't need to go higher you don't need to solve, solve je advanced question you don't need to solve hc verma you don't need to solve i irudov you just need to practice the similar conceptual similar level of mcqs that are asked in neat but practice them again and again and again same is valid for chemistry as well so this is a strategy uh in in two days you can finish one bio chapter so in 80 days in 80 days in 80 days basically by nine months by three months by uh, you know by november end you should be able to finish biology also completely and the remaining three days so by december end you should be done with your one revision then comes the process of revision and you need to do two or three revisions uh, another revision by march ish another revision by mid april ish and one final seven to ten day revision when you're brushing up all the formulas you're reading your ncrt once again and you're practicing mcqs at the same point of time you're brushing up on your previous year questions this is the way a dropper can crack and crack any goddamn exam in the world now i'll come towards the towards the end i'll talk a bit about my uh, about the previous year question and the test series that uh, is going on in reflex so we are doing a pyq based test series uh, every month there will be a uh, there will be a test last month we conducted 11th uh, standard based test this month we are we conducted a 12th standard based test next month we are going again going to cause 11th standard based test every month there is going to be a monthly test series on reflex which is going to be live for one week and after from the november that i said by november you should have finished your syllabus from november we are going to have full test every 15 days and we have devised a test in uh, in such a manner that 50 percent of the questions are previous questions and 50% of the questions are questions which have the exact same flavor of previous year questions. They seem similar to previous year question. They have the percentage similar. Uh, their, uh, their actual correct percentage have been found to be very similar to previous year question. So it will uh, uh, seem like you're actually attempting a previous year question, even if it's not a previous year question and your exam is going to be very, very similar. Right. For example, as far as for example, as far as biology is concerned, if we take this two polynucleotide strand in DS, uh, DS DNA is parallel and identical, anti parallel and identical, parallel and complementary, anti parallel and complementary. This this is picked up from NCRT. This can be a previous year question. I mean, it's not a previous year question. The actual questions in NEET exam are very similar to this of this level. All right. Uh, identify the correctly matched pair. They won't give you just one correctly matched pair. 1 and 2 here, 1 and 3 here, 2 and 3 here, 1, 2, 3 here. The multiple choice correct options kind of questions that are now being asked in NEET examination. So questions will be very similar to previous year question. 50% will be previous year question. So your previous year question practice gets done through this test series. And 50% are going to be very, very similar to the previous year question. So this is the reason this test series is going to be beneficial for you. And in the in the pinned comment, I'll give the exact timeline of the uh, entire test series. Uh, if it, you feel like you want to have a PYQ based test series, uh, you can have have it at only 499 rupees that's about it having said that remove everything that i've said right now you know you don't need to buy my app frankly uh, i don't care that's just a 
that's something i tried to create uh, to uh, you know a small product in the market for previous question practice you already have multiple resources for that uh, the advantage is uh, there are video based solutions the test series that is here is there uh, there are audio solutions for bi all biology question that is the advantage uh, you can use books also uh, books are going to cost you more they are going to cost you around 2000 rupees if you take all the three books uh, this is only for 500 rupees this app that is the main advantage of the app but obviously if you want to use some other resource do that but please practice previous year questions please follow this timeline that in a week two chapters of biology should be done followed by physics and chemistry ncrt thorough reading ncrt based mcqs and previous year question physics theory portion equal time physics practice uh, and of previous year question and uh, questions which are of similar level to previous year questions you don't need to do this is a very important thing that i want to emphasize you don't need to do j level advanced question you don't need to do iridov you don't need to do hc verma this is a neat examination they don't ask that tough question but the medium and the easy questions you should be a master in that that is how, the way to go finish the syllabus by december january then one revision till march another revision till april mid and one final revision in 15 days when you brush through all the formulas you, you read your NCRT once again thoroughly and then you give the exam and nobody's going to stop you from cracking it. That's it from my side today. Thank you and have a nice day.